What's up guys? It's me, Joey, from awesomecameras.com. Uh, just me today, no Derek. I intentionally left this space blank. You'll see why in a minute. I'm trying something new here. Uh, I, in lack of a better name, I'm just gonna call this Today in Film. Uh, I woke up this morning, got on my phone, uh, just looking at some YouTube videos. Lot of good content out in the last day or so in the film photography community. Uh, I just wanted to express that to you guys and share these videos with you. Um, this is mostly YouTube, uh, a few Instagram accounts at the end I'm going to share with you, um, but let's get right into it. First of all, the first thing I saw this morning, I was super pumped about this, Matt Day posted a video. If you don't already follow Matt Day, uh, he's a film shooter, he has a YouTube channel. Matt recently had an illness. I can't really explain to you what it was. It was a tick-borne illness. Uh, he's been recovering for quite a while now, last couple months, I think. Um, he goes into it in depth in a good like 20 minute video on his channel that he just posted. All these will have links down below. So anything I'm talking about, links down below, guys. Second on my list today, Mike Janik. This guy has been around for a while, love his videos. I feel like he fell off about a year ago and just recently started posting some more. He posted a video about the iconic Pentax K1000. I feel you, buddy. I got my Pentax hat on right now. King Japes, entertaining content as always, very informative. He tested a cheapo little $5 toy camera against a real nice professional grade camera from back in the day, the Nikon F3. Him and his girlfriend were out in Berkeley, California shooting some photos. Um, always love seeing his content. Keep it up, dude. Next up, you guys all know these guys. Negative feedback. George and crew uh, went on a little trip to the seaside and they took along a plethora of disposable cameras. He just divvied them up, everyone on the trip. Um, it's kind of cool getting everyone's different perspective on the disposable cameras, the cameras they chose. Uh, I love videos like that where you just get a bunch of different opinions and you get to hear some new ideas about things and it always helps to see things in a different light. That is definitely worth a watch. Next up, another guy I feel like I haven't heard too much from lately. Uh, let's make sure I get this right. Eduardo Pavez Goy, uh, South American, I believe, YouTuber, photographer. He was testing out the new Cinestill Monobath, which I've been very interested in. Just haven't pulled the trigger on it myself because uh, just less than stellar performances from the last monobath that I tried. Had a lot of problems with it. Travis Mortz, back at it on the YouTube content, loving it. He always has some very insightful things to say and this video he made about his Leica M3. Um, if you're interested in a Leica, maybe picking up a Leica, particularly the M3, this is definitely gonna be a good video for you to watch. Another one from across the pond, guys, the Nico Photography Show. Um, he made a video on the brand new Intrepid Enlarger. They made a kit you connect to your Intrepid large format camera and it essentially just turns it into an enlarger, which is amazing because then you buy a camera and then you have your camera as your enlarger for your darkroom. Um, I just imagine it saving a lot of space and money buying extra equipment um, because you can repurpose some of that equipment and use it as the enlarger. And last one on the YouTube recommendations from the last day, Chris Bartolucci, good friend of mine, awesome content as always. She went out and shot some photos with Phil and Trev from thedarkroom.com and it was kind of fun. They were messing around with an X-Pan uh, as well as the new Lomography LCA 120 camera, which I have also been dying to get my hands on. That about rounds it up for the YouTube stuff. I just wanted to throw in a couple other uh, things here, and these are some things I saw on Instagram. The first one, I was just swiping around this morning, and if you don't already, I really suggest following a few hashtags on Instagram. If you search a hashtag, you'll have the option to follow that hashtag, and they'll kind of throw some stuff into your feed here and there. And it's a good way to find new content, new people to follow. Even if you don't follow them, you know, this particular person I found on the hashtag Portra160, uh, one of my favorite films. 
but I was just scrolling through. I said, oh, this is a great photo. Who is this? Oh, someone I don't follow. And then immediately followed him. I love that photo. Uh, it was a photo of an old sign, um, I believe up in Oregon. And uh, just instant follow. Like I look at this guy's account. You can tell by the first 12 photos. I'm like, yep, this is definitely someone I want to follow. Bunch of old rundown, beat up cars, old signs, abandoned buildings, uh, all that fun stuff. Um, that personally I'm just really into. His name is Ryan Chernikoff and his Instagram is at a small riot. It's got some underscores in there. Uh, again, links down below for all this fun stuff. Next one is a guy I've been following for a few years now uh, out of the Atlanta area. If you're in the Atlanta area, you should go give this a guy a follow. Uh, he's doing some cool stuff. He always has been. He'll go out and put out art, like random photos, prints, um, and kind of hide them around town and give you a hint on his Instagram where to find it. Today, he dropped a camera just out, I don't know Atlanta geography, but somewhere out in Atlanta, left a little camera with a little note. Hey, congratulations, you just found this camera. This is your new 35 millimeter film camera, blah, blah, blah. Um, so if you're in Atlanta or anywhere, definitely give him a follow. Lastly, on the Instagram, this gets a little confusing, but it's a twofer. I mentioned her in the YouTube section of this video, Chris B, Chris Bartolucci from LA. Uh, I was scrolling through, saw a photo on her feed. It's actually a photo of her. Um, it's a double exposure that Trev from the dark room, Trev Lee, put a link to him below. It's a double exposure of Chris and some rocks at the beach. And I just thought it was really great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing these more whenever I have time and there's been a bunch of good stuff in the last day or two um, online and I'm not limiting it to YouTube or Instagram. That's just what I came up with today. Also, if you have any suggestions for things that should be mentioned in a video like this, um, awesomecameras at Gmail, you can get a hold of me or you know, forward me some posts on Instagram or send me some YouTube links or just links to whatever you find. If you wanna support this channel, there's a few things you can do. First of all, subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend, send this over to a friend that likes shooting film photography and is just hungry for knowledge and just inspiration. Secondly, I have a link set up on my website. It's just an auto forward that made it super easy. If you buy stuff on amazon.com, I made a little link. It's awesomecameras.com slash amazon and that will forward you right to a page that just looks like a normal Amazon homepage. But if you buy anything using that, uh, they give us a cut. So much appreciated on all that. Again, be sure to check out my website, awesomecameras.com. See you next time.